Hello everybody, this is me, Master44, and today in this video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're actually going to be comparing four of um, the most used browsers, that being Safari, Opera, Google Chrome, and Firefox. Of course, among these four, there would probably also be um, Internet Explorer, but since I'm on a Mac, I cannot test that because it's not available for Mac. But anyway, we're going to be testing these four browsers. This um, pretty much, I'm just going to give. I'm just going to be giving you my opinion on each of these browsers, just telling you which one is the best in my opinion and um, the ones I use the most. So let's get into the video. <laughs> So the first web browser we're going to be talking about in this video is Google Chrome. Now Google Chrome obviously was developed by Google in 2010, I believe, and it. Um, so Google Chrome has all uh, has always been famous for it just its speed, its ability to render pages very fast, and um, and I have to say this is probably um, the web browser that will render your page faster than any other competition even though other web browsers such as Firefox, Opera, and Safari have gotten much better over the years but um, I still believe that Google Chrome is the fastest browser that there is and as you can see it is quite customizable you can add your own themes you can add like different colors as I did here you can add your own custom image back here or you can just download like different themes off of the um, Google Chrome store and um, now this web browser um, as a um, gives you like this Google search bar over here now let me just first point out that I'm using the new version of Google Chrome that is Google Chrome 6 which is actually still in beta so it probably won't be available to um, most of you guys for a while and um, pretty much what's different in this new um, in this new version of Google Chrome is that it uses a new rendering system called Blink and pretty much what Blink allows you uh, allows Google Chrome to do is it allows it to render pages a lot faster and um, I have to say I it's not a dramatic increase but I do think that it does render pages maybe just like half a second faster of course this is still in beta so we can't tell what the um, final product, like the final version of Google, uh, of Google Chrome 6, will be. How fast it will actually be. So anyway, over here you get all your um, like links to your favorite sites, to your most visited sites. So Google Chrome, it um, it sees what web what websites you visit the most, and it just puts them automatically over here. And um, so we're gonna go to apps now. So these are all the apps I have installed. Um, these are pretty much the links like the Facebook app and the YouTube app are pretty much just links but anyway I'm gonna bring you to the store Google Chrome store as you can see you have a whole bunch of really cool different um, apps um, these are it this the uh, and plus just how look look how beautiful it looks it actually looks really nice um, and they have a large selection of applications to customize your browser they also have games um, a whole bunch of different stuff that is really cool. So anyway, let's get on to the next browser. And next browser we're going to be talking about is probably, in my opinion, the second best browser. Um, so that would be Firefox. And I actually use this browser quite a lot. I use Google Chrome a little bit more, but I have to say this is actually a very nice browser. <laughs> Okay, so um, just like in Google Chrome, it gives you all these different tabs and it recommends all of your f most visited websites. And um, Google um, now Mozilla Firefox is a very fast browser. It might not be as fast as Chrome, but it, the difference is just minuscule. And um, this is a browser for people that like to customize. This is pretty much like a browser for geeks, geeks that like to customize every single. Um, every single um, different thing about um, your browser just like it Google, Mozilla Firefox just has an absurd amount of um, add-ons that you can add to your browser just to customize every single aspect of your browsing experience so this is also a very nice browser um, don't get me wrong I do love Firefox it's a really nice browser it loads pages very fast 
you can just give it a test. Now, my internet speed is actually going quite slow at the moment. Um, I have a weird internet. It, it just sometimes it goes fast, sometimes it goes slow. <laughs> well, anyway. Okay. Yeah, well, that really doesn't give you a good impression of how fast Firefox goes. But, um, just because of my internet. But anyway, and I'll, also, for people that have slow internet speeds, I have to say that Firefox would most likely be the best choice for you because it actually uses the least amount of memory on your computer so if you have like an old computer that doesn't have that much memory available you can actually um, Firefox will be the best web browser that will use like the least amount of memory when you have it running so so the next web browser we're gonna be talking about is Opera now Opera is actually a very nice web browser I use it quite a lot probably not as much as Google Chrome and Firefox but it is um, still like a very nice browser so um, it's definitely not as fast as um, Google Chrome and Firefox but it still is it's just like your average browser it goes at a decent speed over here you have um, these all these different um, um, like links to your favorite sites just like Firefox and Google Chrome most of the browsers nowadays are pretty much just like the same and um, when you first launch them, they're pretty much just like the same. It shows you your favorite sites that you can visit by just like tapping on here. Now, Opera is your average browser. It doesn't have um, like incredible speed. It has um, some neat features called like Opera Turbo, which um, will render pages faster if you're like um, if you have very slow internet speed. It'll actually render pages just a little bit faster. Uh, Opera link that pretty much allows you to um, link um, the op um, let's say you have um, Opera on your like mobile device on your iPhone on your Android device because they also Opera also has um, apps it will actually like it will bring you back to your last web page that you were on on your computer on your device pretty much so um, that's pretty much it um, Google uh, Opera has um, a pretty large selection of add-ons also um, pretty much all of the major add-ons the ones that people use all the time they're available on all of these web browsers like on on Google Chrome Firefox and Opera all of the major add-ons are all available for these three um, web browsers so there really isn't actually there really isn't that much to say about Opera it's a good web browser probably not as good as Google Chrome and Firefox but anyway and it's not as widely used as Google Chrome and Firefox also. So the next browser we're going to be talking about in this video is Safari. Now Safari is a very very widely used web browser pretty much just because it's the one that comes with the Mac and it's the default web browser on Mac. So um, Safari has a whole bunch of different uh, a whole bunch of interesting features and I have to say in the past few years Safari has gotten a lot better because I remember I used to use it um, about two years ago and it really didn't have that many features and it was actually quite slow compared to other web browsers such as Firefox and Google Chrome but in the past few years it's gotten a lot better now another thing to note is that Safari actually updates every time you update your Mac so when you buy a new update for your Mac when you buy a Mountain Lion um, Safari also gets up um, gets updated so that's kind of like a negative that um, for up updates for Safari you actually have to pay um, at least for major upgrades you have to pay because you're buying like a, an upgraded operating system for your whole entire computer well anyway um, now let's talk about some of the features that it has of course we have this tab view thing which pretty much comes in all web browsers these days as I as you um, saw with the other three web browsers we saw today and um, we also have Reader, which is actually a really nice web, a uh, really nice, um, a really nice feature where pretty much you can add a page um, to read later. Like, let's say you want to read an article, but you don't have time, you can just press like Add Page, and it'll add your current web, your current website, and it allows you to read this, um, read this website, go on this website offline, so you don't have to be connected to the internet. And the best part is that all of your like sites that you put in your reader can automatically be accessed directly from all of your iOS devices, from like Safari on your 
phone, Safari on the iPad, and all the different iOS devices. And you can, of course, you can clear all pages, you can add a new. And the best thing is, you, these can all be read offline, as I said before, and they're really nice. Now, if we go over here next to Reader, okay, what do we have here? Oh, I, if I'm not mistaken, these these are just your logs. These are just like your history, your browser history. As you can see here, you can see all the different browsers, all the different web pages I've been in. So, um, as I said, there's a there's a lot of features to like about um, Safari. Um, the main feature that I like about it is that it just gets synced between all of your different devices. So let's say um, you leave you leave Safari on a certain web page as soon as you log on like you go back on Safari on your iPhone or on your iPad or any other iOS device you will automatically um it will automatically bring you back to the same web page you were on on your computer or on your iPhone or anywhere so it's just all synced with iCloud so that's um very nice see you can see all the web, page, web pages um that I visited actually on my iPad so um and it's pretty cool so anyway, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and um, don't forget to subscribe. Please tell me in the comments wh which web browser you use and why you use it. So um, anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Don't forget to subscribe, like, favorite, and do all the different things with this video, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.